Okay folks, welcome back to Wooden Tool Man's channel. Welcome back to my shop. So what I'm going to do, talk about in this video is uh, my next build that I'm planning here. And that's a, uh, a belt sander. I picked up a belt here, uh, which was about, a, about 11 bucks for this belt. And it's a 6x48 belt is what it is. And, uh, you know, there's lots of these around, you know, a person can, uh, can buy these for not too much money, but I'm just kind of, kind of have some fun and just kind of see how cheap I can actually build one. Uh, I've got a few parts here that I plan on using. Uh, I've got these bearings around, if you guys have seen in my other videos. I could use these, but that would only be half as much fun as making it totally out of wood. You know, you guys are watching Wooden Tool Man's channel, so we're going to try to make as much out of, of this stuff totally out of wood as I possibly can and still have it work good. You know, if I didn't think, there is some machines that I do have planned that we're definitely going to have to have bearings. So um, if you guys can find any of these little bearings, and what they have is a 5.8 center, and they have about a 35 millimeter outside, or, you know, find a, a standard size that you're going to be able to drill a recess like this. Um, and we don't want to have it too tight. You can see here I drilled, this one has a 35 millimeter outside and I've got a 35 millimeter bit and you can see I can press it in there pretty easy. It's nice and tight but yet I don't have to bang it in or anything and then if I want it out I just gotta you know, tap on this thing and it'll pop out. And then we could drill you know, a 5.8 hole in the center of this and that would allow our shaft to run through but with this thing I'm not actually going to use the bearings. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make it in such a way that, you know, we can make it with parts that we can just go to any local hardware store, buy the parts, and uh, and be able to make this thing. So, what I did was, uh, I've got some 5 inch bolts here, and the way that I plan on doing this, and I haven't got them cut yet, is, you know, if we pretended that these little cogs were my round wheels that my drum, or my belt's going to run on, um, the way that I'm going to do this is I'm going to cut enough of them that I get my thickness here. You know, they'll be all rounded out. And the center one, what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to drill a big enough hole in it that I can actually set that nut right into the center of that. And then the next ones will sandwich on top and then equal amounts on both sides. And then when I'm done, I'm going to be able to thread that bolt in to the center, thread it in from both sides, and then I'll be able to lock it tight. So then I'll have a rigid shaft that will be smooth on either end that I could drill a hole for the for this to run on. You know, I'm just going to take a couple of chunks of MDF. I'm going to have about an inch and a half left over on either side. I'll take a chunk of uh, MDF and we'll just make a couple of uh, bushings out of wood for these to run on. And if you haven't seen any of my videos before, if you have a look at the disc sander that I made, then you can see that, you know, it's a very... This isn't something that I'm just, you know, just going to try for the first time. I've been doing quite a bit of testing with running, you know, just a real smooth shaft bolt through a wooden block, oiling it up very well, and then running uh, a pulley on it, and running it for, le you know, long lengths of time to see how much it will wear, and what I'm finding is it doesn't wear at all. Once it breaks in, once the shaft, the shaft is so smooth, there's nothing for, for it to wear the wood away, so it just seems to run forever, and there's very, very, very little resistance from it once it breaks in, so... Once I get this done, you know, it'll make a super cheap little uh, belt sander and something that everybody can build without having to look for little specialty bearings like this. So, you guys keep tuning in. This is just kind of the preliminary video to show you what I'm going to have to work with. You know, I've got a chunk of melamine here and I've got a chunk of MDF that I'm going to make it out of. A few washers and a few bolts that are, you know, these are 5 inch by uh, 5 8 diameter. So... Hopefully you guys like my videos. Hopefully you'll push the like button for this one and keep tuning in and we'll see you next time.